The Secret Messages of the Gospel of Judas Astonishing Revelations from the Gospel of Judas The Gospel of Judas is a Gnostic religious text that is part of a series of Gnostic texts discovered in the 20th century. It is important to note that this text is not accepted as part of the New Testament canon by traditional Christian churches. The Gospel of Judas dates from the 2nd century and presents a different interpretation of Judas Iscariot's role in the biblical story. In this Gospel, Judas is presented not as a traitor, but as a trusted disciple of Jesus who fulfills an essential role at Jesus' request. Unlike the other canonical Gospels, where the betrayal of Judas is seen as a reprehensible action in the Gospel of Judas, this act is presented as necessary for the fulfillment of the divine plan. The Gospel of Judas offers a different and controversial perspective on traditional Christian narratives, illustrating the diversity of religious thought in the early centuries of the Christian era. Chapter 1. Discovery of the Manuscript In the 1970s, in a corner forgotten by the world near El Minya, Egypt, a group of simple villagers, unaware of the importance of their discovery, came across a relic hidden in the sands of time. These villagers, in search of ancient treasures or just driven by curiosity, unearthed an ancient manuscript, ancient and fragile, which would change the world's understanding of one of the most enigmatic and controversial biblical characters, Judas Iscariot. The manuscript, written in an ancient language, Coptic, and probably transposed from a much older Greek text, now lost, was titled The Gospel of Judas. Dating back to around the 2nd century, this ancient document has withstood the passage of nearly 2,000 years, waiting to reveal its secrets. After a series of complex tests confirmed the authenticity and age of the papyrus, the scientific community was shocked. In April 2006, the document was presented to the public for the first time at a lavish event at National Geographic Headquarters in Washington. This presentation not only enlightened the world with a new perspective on the history of Christianity, but also sparked a wave of discussion and controversy among theologians and historians. The existence of a Gospel of Judas had been known for centuries, thanks to mentions made by ancient Christian apologists, such as St. Irenaeus, who had combated it as heretical. However, for the general public and even for many experts, this discovery was a revelation. The mass media promoted the manuscript as a writing capable of shaking traditional Christian teachings to their foundations. The Gospel of Judas presented a radically different picture of Judas Iscariot. Instead of being seen as an infamous traitor, in these texts he appears as a deep understanding of Jesus' mission. Surprisingly, it is suggested that Jesus himself asked Judas to betray him as part of a larger divine plan for the salvation of mankind. This perspective shed new light on the whole story of Christ's passion, challenging theologians and believers alike. The discovery quickly went around the world, sparking fascination, skepticism, and heated debate. As the text was studied and interpreted, many of its teachings hit the wall of established dogma, prompting profound questions about the nature of betrayal, sacrifice, and the true understanding of Christ's message. The manuscript was not complete, entire fragments were missing, leaving room for interpretation and speculation. These gaps in the text added an extra layer of mystery to the Judas story, inviting readers to fill in the blanks with their own beliefs and imagination. The discovery of the Gospel of Judas has opened a window into the past, offering a unique view of a troubled and complex period in the history of Christianity. Through these ancient scrolls, the world received not only a new story about one of the Bible's most infamous characters, but also a challenge to reevaluate many of the teachings it considered immutable. Chapter 2 The Alien Revelation One night, in a hidden garden in Jerusalem, Judas witnessed an event that would change the course of his life. Under the starry sky, a blinding light pierced the darkness, revealing an alien ship of unimaginable beauty and technology. From this ship descended a being of light, Raziel, who spoke directly into his mind without words. Raziel revealed to Judas that Jesus was no mere man, but an emissary of an advanced alien civilization, come to earth on a sacred mission. Jesus' purpose was to prepare humanity for a spiritual and technological ascension, a leap into a new age of consciousness. That night, Judas had a deep dialogue with the light being, learning about the complexities of the universe and humanity's role in the grand cosmic picture. 
It was a conversation that transcended the boundaries of time and space, a revelation of humanity's destiny. In the following days, Judas sought answers from Jesus. In secret meetings, Jesus confirmed everything Raziel had revealed to him and told him about his home planet, Elian. He described a world where beings lived in perfect harmony, reaching a high level of spiritual and technological consciousness. Jesus explained to Judas that his betrayal was a crucial element in the divine plan. This was not a betrayal in the traditional sense, but an act of ultimate sacrifice necessary to trigger the events that will lead to the salvation of humanity. Judah, overwhelmed by the weight of this responsibility, accepted his role in this cosmic plan. As he wrestled with his new knowledge and his role in God's plan, Judas became isolated and contemplative. Realizing that he would be seen as a traitor by history, he felt the burden of this label, but found solace in the idea that his actions served a greater good. As the moment of betrayal approached, Judas became increasingly withdrawn, plunging into deep meditation and communicating only with Jesus. This became his only connection to the divine plan, the only one who could understand and comfort him in his moments of doubt and fear. In these moments of solitude and reflection, Judas began to see the world with different eyes, perceived through the lens of his new knowledge. Everything he knew about religion, history, and humanity was rewritten through the lens of these revelations, giving him a unique but difficult perspective to share with others. Chapter 2 concludes the story of Judas as a transformed man, a visionary who received knowledge beyond his original understanding and who was faced with a historic choice. His role in the cosmic plane positions him as a central character in a story much larger than himself, a story that blends history with myth, the human with the divine. Chapter 3, The Secret Encounters After the extraterrestrial revelations, Judas frequently met with Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, a secluded place where they could talk away from prying eyes. Here, under the foliage of ancient olive trees, the deepest mysteries of the universe were revealed. In the silence of the starry nights, Judas and Jesus had conversations that transcended the barriers of human understanding. Jesus spoke to him about the structure of the universe, advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, and the deep connection between spirituality and technology. In these meetings, Jesus explained to Judas his mission on earth. His purpose was not only to provide spiritual teachings, but also to prepare humanity for a cosmic transformation and ascent to a higher consciousness. Jesus shared with Judas knowledge of alien technologies and wisdom that could change the course of human history. These technologies, while beneficial, required a spiritual evolution that humanity had to achieve. As Judas assimilated this information, he began to feel the weight of his responsibility. Realizing that the betrayal of Jesus was essential to the fulfillment of this divine plan, he struggled with feelings of guilt and moral conflict. Aware of his role in humanity's destiny, Judas began to prepare for the moment of betrayal. In these preparations, he was assisted by Jesus, who offered him comfort and understanding, reminding him of the importance of his act. In their last meeting before the betrayal, Jesus offered Judas one final teaching, a message that combined spiritual wisdom with extraterrestrial knowledge, meant to guide him through the dark days ahead. As the moment of betrayal approached, Judas felt an inner rift between his cosmic duty and his loyalty to his friend. This inner struggle turned him into a divided man, torn between two worlds. In this part, Judas is presented as a tragic character whose deep knowledge has led him down a path of no return. Caught between his duty to the cosmic plan and his affection for Jesus, he makes the choice that will change the course of history, a choice that, while it will mark him as a traitor in the eyes of the world, is essential to the salvation of humanity. Chapter 3 develops Judas' internal conflict in depth, transforming him from a simple traitor into a complex and multidimensional character. Through his dialogues with Jesus, deep themes such as the destiny of humanity, the role of technology in spiritual evolution, and the moral dilemma of sacrifice for the greater good are explored. This development sets the stage for the dramatic events that follow. Chapter 4, The Cosmic Conspiracy As the moment of betrayal approached, Judas felt a growing weight on his soul. He understood that his act would be misinterpreted for generations, but he was aware of its importance in the grand cosmic plan. The decisive night was approaching, and Judas was preparing to play his part. 
In their last meetings, Jesus and Judas exchanged glances full of silent meaning. In the eyes of Jesus, Judas found not only acceptance, but an acknowledgement of the sacrifice he was about to make. These moments of silence bound the two souls in a deep and indestructible way. Before the arrest of Jesus, Judas had a final meditation in the Garden of Gethsemane. Here, under the night sky, he prayed for the strength to fulfill the role the universe had prepared for him. In this prayer, he found temporary peace, accepting his fate. Judas, guided by an inner strength and his understanding with Jesus, arranged the time and place where Jesus was to be arrested. He did so with a precision that reflected not only his knowledge of the divine plan, but also the pain he felt at betraying his friend. On the night of the betrayal, Judas kissed Jesus, the agreed-upon signal for his identification. This gesture, loaded with emotion and symbolism, marked the turning point in this cosmic story. In the eyes of the world, this kiss was a symbol of betrayal, but in reality, it was an act of love and sacrifice. At the time of the arrest, the look exchanged between Jesus and Judas was full of recognition and compassion. Jesus, fully understanding Judas' sacrifice, offered him a gentle smile, a silent confirmation that all was going according to plan. After the arrest of Jesus, Judas withdrew into deep solitude. The inner conflict and the burden of his act overwhelmed him. He struggled with feelings of regret, but also with the knowledge that he had played a crucial role in an event that would change the world. The betrayal of Judas had echoes not only on Earth, but also in the cosmic plane. Extraterrestrial beings watching the unfolding of events recorded this moment as one of crucial importance in the spiritual evolution of humanity. Chapter 4 concludes the story of Judas' betrayal as that of a tragic hero, a character who, although marked by history as a traitor, played an essential role in the fulfillment of a cosmic destiny. Through this act of betrayal, Judas not only contributed to the salvation of humanity, but also opened the way to a new era of awareness and spiritual ascent. This chapter explores the depth of Judas' betrayal and its cosmic context, presenting him as a complex and deeply human character caught in a divine game bigger than himself. Through this narrative, the betrayal of Judas is recontextualized, becoming an act of sacrifice and love, essential for the spiritual evolution of humanity. Chapter 5 The Laughter of Jesus and the Hidden Wisdom After his betrayal, Judas was left to reflect on his actions. One day, he remembered a key moment when Jesus spoke to his disciples about the deep meanings of communion. That day, Jesus laughed at their prayer, a laugh not of mockery but of enlightenment. Judas remembered how Jesus explained to the disciples that the true mysteries of communion are not to be found in external rituals, but in a deeper, inner understanding. This truth, hidden in Jesus' laughter, was an invitation to look beyond the literalness of words and deeds. The disciples, not understanding Jesus' laughter, felt offended and became angry. Jesus calmly and wisely explained to them that their anger was a sign of lack of understanding. He emphasized that true knowledge comes from the heart, not from anger or confusion. Jesus then revealed to the disciples that the true God is not in external rituals, but within each one. This revelation was a turning point for Judah, who began to understand his alien nature and mission on earth. During that period of introspection, Judas reflected on the questions he asked Jesus, seeking to understand more about the universe and his role in it. Jesus answered him with parables and profound teachings, which guided Judas' thinking. Judas remembered how Jesus had spoken to him of his secret teachings, of the kingdom of heaven, and how true knowledge is accessible only to those who are prepared to look beyond the physical world. These teachings transformed Judas. He began to see the world and recent events from a new perspective, realizing that his role in human history was far more complex and profound than he could have imagined. Finally, Judas came to an unexpected clarity. Although he still struggled with feelings of guilt and pain, he understood that every moment of his life was a step toward the fulfillment of God's plan, a plan that transcended the limits of human understanding. Chapter 5 concludes Judas' story with a profound spiritual journey in which he reevaluates the teachings of Jesus and his own role in biblical events. In this introspection, Judas discovers a hidden wisdom in Jesus' laughter and his parables, a wisdom that guides him to a new understanding of the world and his place in history. Chapter 6 
The Disciples' Wrath and Revelation After Jesus' betrayal, the disciples were filled with confusion and anger. Not understanding the actions of Judas and the sudden disappearance of Jesus, they began to question the meaning of all the teachings they received and their future. In these moments of uncertainty, the disciples were confronted with the reality of their faith. They had to decide whether to remain faithful to Jesus' message or give in to their doubts and fears. Everyone began to evaluate their own spiritual path. Peter, troubled by recent events, had a vision in which Jesus appeared to him, asking him to keep the faith and guide others. This vision strengthened Peter and motivated him to continue the work of Jesus. The disciples gathered, discussing the meaning of Jesus' messages and the way forward. Each brought their own interpretations, which led to intense debates and even disputes. In the midst of these discussions, some of the disciples remembered the times when Jesus had spoken to them about the kingdom of heaven and the need for steadfast faith. They began to see recent events as proof of their faith. In their discussions, some of the disciples began to reevaluate the role of Judas. They wondered about the possibility that his betrayal was, in some way incomprehensible to them, part of a larger plan. Faced with the physical absence of Jesus, the disciples sought answers in meditation and prayer. Some received visions and revelations that gave them comfort and guidance in those moments of uncertainty. In the end, the disciples decided to stay united and continue the work of Jesus. They began to organize their community, laying the groundwork for spreading the message of Jesus to the wider world. Chapter 6 concludes with the disciples finding their way in the physical absence of Jesus. Through anger, doubt, and debate, they discovered the wisdom hidden in Jesus' teachings and began to understand that every event, including Judas' betrayal, had a role in the divine plan. This realization united the disciples and gave them the strength to continue Jesus' mission. Chapter 7, Judas' Vision and Mysteries of the Kingdom After the betrayal of Jesus, Judas retreated to a hidden place, struggling with his feelings of guilt and confusion. During this period of solitude, he meditated deeply on the teachings of Jesus and his own experience. One restless night, Judas had a profound vision. In this vision, he saw himself in a different world, surrounded by beings of light who imparted knowledge and wisdom to him. This experience helped him begin to understand the complexity of his role in the cosmic plane. In his vision, Judas was taught the hidden structure of the universe and the vital role each soul plays in the great divine plan. He was shown that although his actions seemed treacherous, they were essential to the spiritual evolution of humanity. In this trance, Judas met Jesus in a spiritual form. Jesus offered him comfort and understanding, explaining that his betrayal was not only a necessity, but also an act of deep love for humanity. In this dialogue, Jesus explained to Judas that every moment of their life on earth was prepared and that everything was part of a greater plan. Judah was assured that his role would not be forgotten and that he would be honored in the higher kingdoms for his courage and sacrifice. Through this revelation, Judas began to come to terms with his destiny. He understood that the world's perception of his act was not important in the face of the greater truth of God's plan. With a new perspective on life and his role, Judas returned to the community of disciples. He did not seek forgiveness or acceptance, but came to share the wisdom and knowledge he had acquired. Judas began to speak of his visions and teachings, planting seeds of knowledge and wisdom in the hearts of those who were ready to listen. Thus, even in death, his spirit continued to guide and inspire. Chapter 7 concludes Judas' journey from traitor to enlightened sage. Through his visions and revelations, Judas became a channel for divine knowledge, contributing to the spiritual evolution of the community of disciples and influencing the course of Christianity in subtle but profound ways. Through his mystical experiences and dialogue with Jesus, Judas comes to understand the complexity and depth of his role in the cosmic plane. This transformation not only frees him from the burden of guilt, but empowers him to share his wisdom with others, thereby influencing the spiritual evolution of his community. Chapter 8, Clarity and Chaos In the days that followed Judas' return, tensions and uncertainties among the disciples grew. Yet in the midst of this chaos, Judas remained a pillar of calm and clarity, guided by his newly acquired revelations and wisdom. 
Judas began to tell the disciples about his visions and dialogues with Jesus. Although some were reluctant to listen to him, his words of wisdom began to have a profound impact on them. Under the influence of Judas, the disciples began to reinterpret the teachings of Jesus. They began to see that the recent events, including the betrayal of Judas, were not just unfortunate events, but part of a greater divine plan. In time, Judas' words helped to heal the spiritual wounds of the disciples. They began to find inner peace, accepting past events and understanding that every moment had a purpose. With their new understanding and acceptance, the community of disciples began to rebuild. They became more united and more determined to spread the message of Jesus, now understood in a new light. Although Judas remained in the shadows, his influence continued to be felt in the community. He became a kind of unseen guide, his words and teachings continuing to inspire and shape the path of the disciples. Through his change and sharing his wisdom, Judas planted the seeds of a new era in Christianity. This new perspective brought a breath of fresh air to the community, paving the way for greater understanding and compassion. Finally, Judas was understood and accepted by the community of disciples, not as a traitor, but as a vital figure in the divine plan. His legacy became one of wisdom, sacrifice, and enlightenment, profoundly influencing the course of Christian spirituality. Chapter 8 concludes the story of Judas with his transformation from a character shrouded in controversy to one who brings clarity and wisdom. Through his contributions, he helped open a new chapter in spiritual understanding, one that redefined how the community of disciples interpreted the message and sacrifice of Jesus. Chapter 9, Rebuilding the Community Following the inner transformation of Judas and the new interpretations of Jesus' teachings, the community of disciples began to rebuild. This new beginning was marked by a deeper unity and understanding of their mission. The disciples, inspired by the changes taking place within their community, began to spread a renewed message. This message not only emphasized the teachings of Jesus, but also included the wisdom gained through the experience and revelations of Judas. Peter took on the role of community leader, guiding the other disciples with wisdom and compassion. Inspired by his vision and the changes brought about by Judas, Peter became a pillar of strength and clarity for all. Continuing the work of Jesus, the disciples began to perform and share miracles and teachings. They healed the sick, comforted the grieving, and offered hope to the desperate, following the example of Jesus. Each disciple, according to his own gifts and revelations, began to develop his own way of spreading the message. This led to a diversification of the ways of expressing their faith and mission. The renewed message and actions of the disciples had a significant impact on society at the time. They have brought hope and light to an often dark and confusing world, changing lives and inspiring generations. Although Judas sought no recognition for his role, his contribution remained a misunderstood shadow in the history of early Christianity. His presence and influence were often felt but rarely fully acknowledged. Finally, Judas left behind a legacy of wisdom and transformation. His role in the history of Christianity has been reevaluated by some, seen not as an act of betrayal, but as a vital contribution to the spiritual maturation of the community. Chapter 9 concludes the story of Judas and the community of disciples as a story of rebirth and transformation. Through the challenges and changes they went through, they were able to build a stronger and more united community, able to spread a message of hope and light to the world. Chapter 10, The Seeds of a New Era After Jesus' death and resurrection, his message began to spread with renewed speed and power. The teachings, now enriched and deepened by the experiences and revelations of Judas, came to influence not only local communities, but also distant regions. The disciples, led by Peter and inspired by the changes in their community, formed the first church. It became a center for the teachings of Jesus, a place where people could come to learn, meditate, and find fellowship. Paul, one of the most influential disciples, wrote letters that became fundamental in the spread of Christianity. In these letters, he reflected on the significance of Judas' betrayal and Jesus' role as Savior, bringing a new perspective to the events. The disciples undertook numerous missionary journeys, spreading the message of Jesus throughout the known world. 
Each journey brought new followers and expanded the influence and understanding of Christian teachings. In their travels, the disciples encountered various cultures and faiths. These meetings led to fruitful dialogues and better mutual understanding, thus enriching Christian teachings with new perspectives. As the message of Christianity spread, it also encountered resistance. The disciples and early Christians were often persecuted, but these challenges strengthened their faith and determination. Despite the challenges, Christianity continued to grow and expand. The church has become a symbol of hope and salvation for many, a beacon of light in an often dark world. As Christianity developed, Judas' role and legacy began to be understood in a broader context. His visions and sacrifice have been recognized by some as essential to the spiritual development of the church. Chapter 10 concludes the original story of Christianity as an age of transformation and growth. From the seeds planted by Jesus, Judas and the other disciples grew a sturdy tree Christianity that brought hope, wisdom, and light to the world, changing the course of the spiritual history of mankind. Chapter 11, The Fate of Adam and the World After the establishment of the Christian community, a new understanding began to form about the story of creation and the fate of Adam. Inspired by the revelations and discussions with Judas, Peter addressed these themes in his sermons and teachings. Peter spoke of Adam not only as the first man, but also as a foreshadowing of Jesus. He explained how Jesus, through his sacrifice, repaired the mistake of Adam, bringing salvation and hope to mankind. In this context, Peter also reevaluated the role of Judas, presenting him as a vital instrument in the divine plan. Through the betrayal and sacrifice of Judas, the events necessary for salvation through Jesus were set in motion. Wisdom Hidden in Genesis The disciples began to interpret the Genesis story in light of their new understanding. They saw the creation of the world and the story of Adam and Eve not only as an origin myth, but also as an allegory of human struggle and the hope of redemption. Adam was seen as the prototype of humanity with all its weaknesses and aspirations. Through this perspective, believers began to identify with the struggle of Adam, seeing in Jesus the way to overcome this struggle. These new interpretations led to heated theological and philosophical discussions within the Christian community. Some embraced these ideas, while others remained skeptical, preferring more traditional interpretations. During this period of intellectual effervescence, Christian teachings continued to evolve. The disciples explored various aspects of spirituality and humanity, seeking a deeper understanding of Jesus' message and its implications for everyday life. The legacy of Judas, along with the interpretations of Peter and other disciples, continued to shape Christian teachings and practices. This period was one of growth and diversification in Christianity, laying the foundations for future church developments. Chapter 11 concludes with the idea that the spiritual journey of Christianity is a continuous one, full of evolution and rediscovery. New interpretations and understandings of biblical characters such as Adam and Judas are examples of how faith adapts and grows over time, providing new insights and guidance for believers. Chapter 12, Judas, the Controversial Figure As Christianity spread and evolved, the community began to reflect on the role of Judas in the larger context of their history. This reflection was stimulated by the growth of the church and the need to understand all aspects of its origins. Judas has remained a controversial figure in the Christian tradition. Some saw him as the necessary traitor, others as a tragic hero. Theological and philosophical debates continue to explore the nature and implications of his actions. Different communities and theologians have offered varying interpretations of Judas' role. While some emphasized the negative aspects, others began to see it as a key element in the fulfillment of prophecies and the divine plan. The figure of Judas began to appear in literature and art, sometimes as a symbol of betrayal, sometimes as an example of sacrifice and redemption. These representations reflected the complexity and ambiguity of his role. In later ages, theologians continued to debate and analyze the role of Judas. Some argued that his betrayal was an act of free will, while others saw it as part of a preordained divine plan. In contemporary thought, the figure of Judas has also been reevaluated in the light of new theological and historical interpretations. 
Debates over its nature and role in biblical events have continued to challenge and inspire thinkers in various fields. Despite varying interpretations, Judas' legacy has remained an integral part of Christian history. His role in the story of Jesus, however interpreted, had a profound impact on the development of Christianity and its understanding of sacrifice, redemption, and human nature. The story of Judas, as part of the larger narrative of Christianity, remains an unfinished story. It continues to be a subject of meditation, teaching, and inspiration, providing a mirror in which each generation can see their own struggles and hopes. Chapter 12 concludes the story of Judas by placing him in the larger context of Christian history. From traitor to tragic figure, from symbol of evil to example of necessary sacrifice, Judas remains a living lesson for eternity, challenging believers to explore the depths of faith, free will, and divine plan. This chapter emphasizes the complexity and continuous evolution of the understanding of the character of Judas in the Christian tradition. Over the centuries, interpretations and depictions of Judas have varied significantly, illustrating how cultural and theological context influences the perception of a biblical character. The story of Judas, as part of Christian history, remains a source of deep meditation and a challenge to human understanding of the nature of divinity and humanity's role in the cosmic plane.